Hey, in today's video, we're gonna be trying something new because I'm gonna be shooting on a Sony camera. And if you've been following along with my channel, then you know that I am a trusty Canon user. We're gonna switch it up because I know a bunch of you shoot with Sony. So I'm gonna be using the Sony, no wait, I don't even know the name. Uh, A7, I need to Google this. Oh my God, A7C Mark II, okay. Because I'm gonna be using the Sony A7C Mark II. I've never shot with this camera and I want this video to be about that it is not about the gear, it is about the mind and the eyes behind the camera because that's where all the creativity comes from. But it does help when you have a very sharp lens and that's when this bad boy comes into play. This is the new 50mm f1.2 from Sigma and I'm gonna be using this lens during a portrait photo shoot here in Melbourne. This is the only thing I'm gonna be bringing, so let's go. Okay, so I'm here with Holly, and I've actually seen her across all of Sigma's Instagram, and I really wanted to shoot with her. So now we're doing it, and I'm very happy. The shutter is so nice. It's like, it's like this end. That is beautiful. That's a good idea! Yes. It's like you're on fire! Kick it up! <laughs> Sharp, right? Wow, that 50 mil is amazing. And from a photographer to a photographer, how fun is it to play around with a different camera, a new toy? So yeah, that is exactly what this video is all about. So sometimes I actually just try out the pose myself and stand exactly at the spot I want the model to be, because then I can feel, okay, is the sun hitting me? Where are the shadows? How can a model pose? And then I can exactly instruct them with how I have it in mind. And that just makes the whole shooting process so smooth. Yeah, cool! Oh, it's actually sick! So I've been using the Seijun Tag M20C and this is a little RGB light that I just stick up on everything where it sticks and it just spices up my portraits very nicely. Oh, yo! Okay, I think if I go in a higher aperture, you can see more of the texture of this thing. I want to give it a go. It's not as bad as I thought using another camera. <laughs> so you have to find the dials and then you're set. Imagine if I was shooting on auto. Yeah, I was just saying, like, imagine. Oh, maybe we could try a couple sitting here and then use this as a backlight. try something else shoot a really close-up photo of your face but I'm gonna put the light exactly behind you <laughs> yes something here and like don't look at the camera just like really like here moment
So at this location, I was losing a bit of light, so I decided to use the X60 from Sijun Tech as well, and this is a bicolor light. Fill up Holly's face to make it pop and stand out from the background, and it worked perfectly. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Looking at me. Yes. And that's the end of the photo shoot. I was a bit overwhelmed to be honest. Using a different camera is always a bit of a, wait, where are all the buttons? How do I use this? Every camera is different. And of course I'm used to Canon, but the Sony menu is so hectic. I was trying to find like, where can I change the burst mode? It's going too fast for me. So when it came down to the editing, I've noticed that I actually had more to edit because this lens is so sharp. So I could see every pore, every wrinkle, everything. So I had to Photoshop away a little bit more than I would usually do, but it's just so crispy. It literally looks like you can grab the model out of the photo. I noticed that editing skin tones is so different compared to Canon. So I was like, fine shooting for a while to find the right skin tones but yeah we got there in the end and these are all the photos plus the edits i'm very happy with how it turned out i edited all these photos with my presets you can find the download link in my description and for those that are wondering i am still a trusty canon user and i know a bunch of you shoot with sony but i thought it'd be fun to switch it up for once in a video so i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and i also hope to see you at my next one okay bye bye do it What is that pose?